Crack the Code, Unraveling the Mystery of English Ordinal Numbers. Hello learners! Today we're going to delve into an interesting and fundamental part of the English language, ordinal numbers. This video will focus on ordinal numbers from the 1st to the 31st. These are integral when it comes to expressing dates and understanding the calendar, so let's get started. Ordinal numbers are those numbers that denote the position or order of things in a set. In English, these are numbers like first, second, third, and so on. They're different from cardinal numbers, which are numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so forth that tell us how many. Now, we're going to look at how to say and write ordinal numbers from 1st to 31st in English. We begin with the first 10 ordinal numbers. Here they are. 1. First. First. 2. Second. Second. 3. Third. Third. 4. Fourth. Fourth. 5. Fifth. Fifth. 6. Sixth. Sixth. 7. Seventh. Seventh. 8. Eighth. Eighth. 9. Ninth, ninth, ten, tenth, tenth. The first three are unique and require memorization, while the rest from fourth to tenth are formed by adding the suffix th to the cardinal numbers. Now let's move on to the numbers from eleventh to twentieth. Eleven, eleventh, eleventh, twelfth, twelfth, thirteenth. 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th, 20th. Notice how all these ordinal numbers end in th as well, except for 12th, where the v in 12 is dropped before adding the th suffix. Finally, let's look at the numbers from 21st to 31st. These are formed by taking the last digit into account. If it is 1, 2, or 3, we use street, nd, or road, respectively. Otherwise, we use th. Here they are, 21, 21st, 21st, 22nd, 22nd, 23rd, 23rd, 24th, 24th, 30th, 30th, 31st, 31st. Well done, you've made it to the end of our video. Now you have a solid understanding of how ordinal numbers work in English. Remember, practice is key. Use these numbers as much as you can in your daily life and soon, they will come naturally to you. Happy learning and see you in our next video.